providing assistance for the Ukrainians to defeat the Russians. That's the number one priority for the United States right now, according to most Republicans. That's sort of how we see the th challenges confronting uh, the country at the moment. You just voted for a short-term deal that doesn't include a cent yeah. for Ukraine yeah. nor for the U.S. border. Right. How did you swallow that? We had to keep the government open. We got 45 days to fix both problems. Uh, I, I listened to Kevin closely. Uh, there will come out of the Senate soon a bill that will have three legs to it. Disaster funding, we need more, not less. Uh, robust funding for Ukraine to get them through the next fighting season, not $24 billion. I think there's Democratic support for major border security reform, but we have to attach it to Ukraine. To those who say we need to fix our border, you're right. To those who say we need to help Ukraine, you're right. To those who say we need to do the border, not Ukraine, you're wrong. Well, when it comes to the House yeah. <laughs> and the, the idea that we got to move swiftly, right? right? The White House told Republican leadership that they don't have enough funding for Ukraine to make it through 45 days and the authorities they have are insufficient. Yeah. Well, so how much time are you talking about needing? You know, I've been around a while I'm wearing a pen. Do you think I would leave Ukraine? Hang I don't believe that one bit. This same White House says we don't need F-16s, we don't need HIMARS, we don't need tanks. I've lost confidence in their evaluation of what's going on in Ukraine. We've got a bunch of allies. They can help for six weeks. The allies have spent more money in Ukraine than we have, and when you hear otherwise, it's just not true. It's been good burden sharing, but I'm not worried about the next six weeks. I'm worried about next year. We will produce in the United States Senate Ukraine funding 60 or 70 billion, not 24, to get them through next year. You're, look, you're talking about, to be clear, a supplemental bigger than $24 billion for Ukraine, and that's going to pass bigger. in 45 days. Oh, absolutely. You know okay. why? Because we need it. Are you saying that Ukraine should not be a standalone? It has to be. It will not be a standalone. When I go to South Carolina, I openly talk about helping Ukraine. If you let what? Putin get away with this, you have a bigger war. Well, what about our border? I promise people in South Carolina, I'm going to do two things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help secure our border and keep the fight going in Ukraine to make sure that Putin doesn't get away with this. Have you asked uh, Donald Trump, your friend, to come out and publicly support more aid to Ukraine and to push some of these skeptical members of the Republican conference? I'll leave it up to him to what to do, but he wanted to get out of Afghanistan. Well, Vladimir Putin has been praising him for yeah, his comments well, about Russia and Ukraine. Here's what I'll say about President Trump. He did not pull the plug on Afghanistan, even though he wanted to. The biggest mistake we've made since the war on terror is withdrawing from Afghanistan. To President Trump and anybody else, if we pull the plug on Ukraine, that's 10 times worse than Afghanistan. There goes Taiwan. To stop funding Ukraine is a death sentence for Taiwan. Putin will keep going. You missed all of World War II if you don't know how this uh, mm -hmm. movie ends. To the Republicans who say Ukraine doesn't matter to us, you're wrong. Respectfully, you're wrong. The war gets bigger, not smaller. There goes Taiwan. If Ukraine can beat Russia, China's less likely to invade Taiwan and Putin gets stopped. That's about as Washington, D.C. as it gets. People who support democracy, who support Ukraine, who support competence in government are going to understand that um, the only way to preserve those things uh, is to vote for Joe Biden. Sure, buddy.